Welcome back to Cursed Mining and today it's already time for the September farm update. After going through the machines we will draw the winners of the giveaway together on video who can then contact me to receive their prize. We will start with the Z9 Mini which gave me a lot to do in the previous days. It's from batch 1 and its firmware has made a lot of batch 2 owners very happy lately. While we are talking a bit about batch 2, you can see some of the earnings on the screen. So if you don't know, most batch 2 Z9 Minis have been locked for overclocking with a strange balance setting. We have just released the HTML workaround on the channel and have given away um, pre-overclocked firmware to viewers, which also works. Generally, batch 2 owners have reported that they are going unstable beyond 650M, while batch 1 Z9 Minis were the perfect overclockers. Thanks Bitme. We were also working on an SSH um, Unix solution, but right now we are still trying to figure out how to make it permanent, so there will be more fixes upcoming. Besides that, I've pumped it up to 700M because it's generally cooler now in Austria. After the Z9 Mini, we will directly move to the GPU rigs, because most questions last month were concerning mining software. So we will focus on software while discussing the rigs. The hybrid rig uses two different miners for kryptonite. At the, the first is my all-time classic XMR stack and the GPUs are still running on it. Since it's always nice to try something new, the CPU from the mining hybrid video is currently testing new software. So it's the GCE Cryptonote Miner. I'm currently thinking of doing tutorials for both softwares so that you can learn how to utilize your CPUs in off time. The Octaminer is changing algos more often than the AMD rig, but because of HiveOS, changing stuff around is pretty simple. So there it depends on what I'm chasing at the moment. For Lyra 2 Rev 2 I like CC Miner, for Shea 3 Ketchak Algos I like SK Miner, or good old Claymore when going for Ethereum or dual mining in the past, which is dead now. Besides that, the rigs are fine. There is finally a new card on the way for the Ryzen rig, so soon the RX 580 can go back where it belongs, but more on that when the time comes. Back to the ASICs, what, what should I say about the Baikals? They are still here, but I have two of them on sale again, because it's just time to downsize a bit. Four of completely the same unit is too much. Since it's already cooler here, most of them are back on X13 and Deep Onion. The L3 Plus got some well-deserved cleaning, but a video in itself about ASIC miner maintenance will be coming up as well. Thanks to a new breakout board and getting rid of the splitter cables, I also overclocked the good old thing a bit further. So now it's always around 620 mega hash. Litecoin profitability has generally been up a bit again. So I guess people are still powering off the L3 Pluses in areas where electricity was just kicking them out of the game. Following up the L3 Plus Plus firmware, it does seem more stable on higher overclocks with the updated firmware. And I never managed to overclock say beyond 475 without going beyond 70C on the chips. Now it stays below it. Lastly, there have been some small additions to the room and they are already hashing away, but they will get their own video as soon as there is some more time. So just a little spoiler here. That's already it for the farm update and now it is time to draw the winner of the dash giveaway. Like I have promised, we go to a random comment picker and the first winner is Litecoin Lucky. And his dash story is the dash treasury has funded and donated to a lot of projects, research and charity. Like Alt Thirsty 6 which is a dash funded company based in I think Tempe, Arizona. That provides a payment platform for the legal cannabis industry in the United States. It has received $496,000 in funding from Dash's treasury. Nice. The second winner is Seki Police. Sorry for butchering your names with. I started learning about the project when I first heard about Masternodes and that made me curious. Congratulations. And our third winner is Pure MX Racing with Dash is Real Digital Cash. So congratulations to each and every one of you. But no one of you wrote about the t-shirt. So the first one of you to contact me and including the t-shirt in your message will get it. Either write me a comment here how I can contact you, find my email in the channel info on YouTube or find me in the Discord server. A link is in the description. I'll get you your prizes to wherever you are and thanks to everyone who participated. This was definitely not the last giveaway we will do here. There are a lot of videos coming up and my list is only growing longer but I'm glad about it. Again, thanks to each and every one of you. Happy mining and bye!